Ah, the beauty of a laser transit level. <laughs> oh, how I struggled doing this other ways over the years. It's almost like a little bit of an early Christmas light show out here. It's kind of cool to catch it at dusk. All right, stay tuned. We got to do some cutting of these posts and then we're going to have a platform on the sawmill base. See you in a little bit. Alrighty, as always, the sun's always setting here at Catbird Hill whenever I'm trying to do a project. Uh, it's getting a little later in the day, and uh, i got to go in and get ready for dinner. So you can kind of see what resulted here. Um, I just have another set of rails to put on the tops of the remaining posts here. But basically what I did is, you know, I uh, used the laser, as you could uh, see in the previous clips to create a level line on all these four by four posts cut them off at that line and then I put uh, this is cedar western red cedar two by sixes uh, on top of the post this will be the base for the actual sawmill track 
And some of you might be asking, why didn't you just use pressure treated? It's cheaper. Um, my experience is you don't do not want to put uh, anything with metal, uh, unless it's stainless steel, onto pressure treated lumber. The chemicals in the pressure treated lumber ultimately will lead to some corrosion of the, any metal surface that's contacting it. So you know the the, the Western Red Cedar. Um, I only had to buy four uh, eight foot lengths. Uh, I actually have in the garage, I have two lengths that were left over from building of some raised garden beds. So I'm going to just uh, cut them to length to fit the remaining uh, space that needs to be filled in. But the cedar is going to weather nice. You know, it'll turn nice and gray. It'll kind of blend in to the rest of the structure as it weathers. But, um, it, you know, a little bit of a splurge, but at least I don't have to worry about anything corroding underneath of the... Uh, underneath of the metal um, feet of the sawmill there. I don't want to worry worry about any corrosion. So uh, it's time to take a break. Um, so this is going to, this will, uh, this last little run here, which I'll probably try to get done in the next couple of days, um, will be sort of the completion of this phase, building the sawmill base. Um, the next thing we need is a sawmill. <laughs> So once the sawmill comes, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually build it on site here. Uh, as I had said before, I'm not going to not going to put a roof over this yet. I'm, I'm, I'll try to work as much as I can over the winter time. But honestly, the weather here in southeastern Pennsylvania has been absolutely insane. Uh, I think it was three days ago we got almost three inches of rain. It was part of that nor'easter storm that came up uh, and dumped a lot of snow up into New England. But uh, it's just been so wet. I can't even, I'm, I'm reluctant to bring the tractor out here because it's just so muddy, it's so wet. And so, the, and we've got, oddly enough, uh, we've got in about three days, we've got another two inches of rain predicted, and then it's gonna get bitter cold. It's typical early winter weather here in southeastern Pennsylvania. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can uh, when the weather's dry. So if I can build the, you know, the structure um, of the sawmill shed itself and get a roof over it over the winter, I'll do that. If not, uh, I did get a cover. I ordered a cover for the sawmill, um, you know, like a big vinyl tarp type cover that's, that's made for it that I'll, I'll use until I do get a, a roof overhead here. But thanks a lot for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Uh, leave comments. Let me know what you guys think of this build. If you've had any experience doing anything like this, uh, particularly building a structure uh, for a sawmill, please let me know what you think uh, about this and how I'm doing. Any tips or advice, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Um, again, please try to subscribe and share these videos. I'm really trying to grow the channel. Uh, I'm not, haven't been able to put out content <laughs> as much as I'd like to, largely because I've been, I've been hemmed in by the weather here. So uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that we get some dry weather. Until next time, John here from Catbird Hill. Take care.